Um, I'm not sure if you've been waiting or expecting, but um, you know I've been hankering to get out a, a good assembly video for the OR3. But unfortunately, um, when it arrived, it had some damage in transit. So this video is my experience so far. Um, what I can say is internally, the OR3 looks much like vastly improved, much neater. Um, and does look like it's very well built. Uh, it's just this problem of damage, some of which looks like it could be in the factory, which is a real shame. Um, some of it definitely caused in transit, but um, uh, watch all the way through if you have the time. Um, there's a lot of info in there and things that I've done to try and remedy, uh, plus some findings that are there for your as well. So thanks for watching. Um, this is the internal box damage, so this is the top of the folding part on the pitch box. And then on the other side, this is where the roll belts um, go around. And then uh, that's come through from where that is, over here. Um, and then that damage, probably from the uh, adjustable stand of the table. Is this all of it? Hmm? Is this all of it? See, if you're talking over the video, <laughs> now I have to overdub it all. Um, all of what? Like the right. thingy. Alright, so that corresponds to this. It's broken the plastic, but I think it'll be okay as far as hopefully. Alright, so I need to find wood plates. That's one of the feet. That's the seat plate. Scratches here. It's okay. This was the bit I needed to. So, I think. Here is damaged in transit. Okay. 
Are you getting good on that? Why? The wrong country? Because it's the wrong country. Yeah, that's alright. I can adapt it. Bent as well. So. Yeah. Uh, nah. Yeah. 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 Okay, so this part scratched against this part here um, on the roll, and then down here is where the bended part is. So on this side, this is not flush, like it's flush here, open, 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 and then flush again down here. Hopefully you can see the little, like where the black, darker section where it's open. Um, and the same happens a little bit at the other end, just a smaller section. Uh, I don't think that will affect operation. All right, so this one here, is bent it looks like it was screwed up too much i don't know if that can just be undone but the other side is not like that so um i tried to undo it with an allen key and it stays bent even though i've undone the thread past where it touches this piece so so there is some damage to the base platform and I noticed, I don't know if this is supposed to, but when I push on here, or at least in this spot, which is probably because of the damage, the bottom plate is moving, but yeah, that's damaged. Okay, so we can see at this side, the base is not flat all the way along. Down this end is relatively flush. When I go to the other side, you'll see that side is bent in and as I go up so is that side um, and I go to the middle both sides of the wall are not I just hold the bottom in it's quite wide at the top and then the base is not flat uh, this tab is supposed to go in a slot here but is not in the slot and this is quite open on this side not on that side which could just be manufacturing tolerances or could be from the damage that was on the bottom part but I cannot well I mean basically the front piece doesn't 
barely, I have to push it very hard for it to lock. So I don't know if that's a bent thing or just undo these bolts and slide it more forward, which based on where this is, is probably what needs to be done. So I will try that first. Um, so this roller is not capsulated at all and cannot go any closer towards that side. So this must be bent out of shape somehow. Um, all the other wheels are locked into place though. So yeah, something's happened on this side and that's very not quite right. Right, this is how the box arrived. There's a small dent here, a quite large gouge there. It was sitting up this way when it was delivered. And there's a little mark there. No, it looks okay on that side. And then we've got this very light. Don't know what's in there yet. Is it recording? Yes, Chucky. Stop, Chucky. I did the boxes, all of them. It doesn't look damaged at all. Well, I didn't think it was damaged last time until I took the plastic off, but... Should I stop recording? I don't think there's going to be any. Um, wait, I need to show something. Stop. So I'm not sure if this is a transit thing. Can you see down here, the space? If you come from this side, you'll see the light coming through. No, from this side. I can see from the other side. Try to come out a bit further so you're not. So I don't know if that bottom plate bending like that is a transit thing or if it's supposed to be like that. See here. The plate is lower. So I don't know if that's a weight in transit bends this bottom plate down or not. The cardboard looks a bit damaged, to be honest. That doesn't really matter, Zach. It's protecting you. What is it? <clears throat> Come here. Right, you have to get it from the other side. I can see it from the first. Right, so this is being pushed in by the look of it. You could just yank it off. Yeah, I'm trying to be gentle. Alright, so 
so from down the top no from down the top down you need to see this bit all right so this time it's all neat doesn't look to be bent all of the wheels are supported there's a little bit of scuff i don't know where oh, oh, no. Okay, this time. So the only issue is this being bent quite badly. Hopefully, the part from the other one will fit without being bent, or maybe I can bend it back. Anyway, all right, stop the video. To do that, I'll be using um, a screw removal, screw head removal tool, or I think it's called, strip screw, strip screw head removal tool. One. Okay, so the drill needs to be in the undo mode. Hopefully that's enough. Let me put this around the other way. It's gonna work. So the screw head, uh, strip screw head removal kit didn't work. So now I'm resorting to Dremel, hopefully to, um, whether I can get the angle right or not. This just isn't working, uh, hopefully. I don't know what to do. Okay, so this is the section where it didn't line up. And upon a bit closer inspection, I can see that this is bent. So if I put the ruler against where that goes, you see that it doesn't line up. And I believe this section is possibly also bent because like it, it's not parallel with the line up here. Um, so I'm gonna try and bend this back out if I can um, because when you run your hand along there you can feel the bend in the metal. So using a mallet and hitting on the inside of that I was able to get that to be a lot more flush uh, and it also means that this could move it was actually squashed in before. So removing this plate off the originally received unit, I can see that this bit is bent, which has probably pulled this away from that side because if I get a ruler and put it against here, um, that's quite straight. Um, there is some bending on this piece, which is possibly because of that. Um, and you can see, there is space between this plate and the edge, which could be because this is pushed this way. So I'm going to try and remedy that by hitting this back. I don't know if I'm going to be able to hit the right spot though. 
Um, I managed to straighten that and a little bit on this, but what's fairly clear is that this rod is never going to line up with the slot that it's supposed to go to unless it's on an angle, which I'm guessing it shouldn't be. So um, I don't know that anything can be done to recover this one, unfortunately, other than chuck it for parts. Um, I was able to get this to also be a lot closer. It's not perfect, but um, by hitting the top part of here with the mallet because checking the ruler up this way I could see that all the edges were straight and then when I checked here I could see that there was space here in the middle section so it was much greater before but by hitting that it has increased uh, decreased that space and got this fairly close to the point where once it's screwed up it should be straight um, unfortunately, the process of getting the plates off of both of these uh, on this original unit resulted in this being broken and still having part of the bolt inside. And then the other one, the other one, um, I got the head off, but the bolt is still stuck inside. So I need a replacement for this, but should be able to see that now. It's not perfectly flush, but it is a lot better. Uh, if I check out the old one from the original unit, uh, that is more flush, but unfortunately this bit is not usable. So, uh, it looks like the space may be related to the finishing on the end based on that. So another issue that I've noticed between both the original unit and the subsequent replacement is this bottom plate uh, gets bent. I believe it's an in-transit issue. So as you can see here, you can see through quite a lot. Uh, it can happen on both sides and on this replacement unit you can see that it's actually proud of the frame more at the bottom so I believe what's happening is the box uh, is pushing against this in transit so if we take this off just to show If we look at the plate, hopefully in the light, you can see here, there's a depression here and here. Uh, there isn't at that end, but this aligns with this section of the base. I think if there was a support put across here and here and same here, then that would stop that from happening in transit. Okay, after straightening the plate fairly fairly accurately, not 100%. Uh, I note that at the rear, it's now proud, so it sticks up past. And that makes me wonder whether the structure of the rotation platform has buckled under the weight um, inside the box. So I'm going to see if I can figure out a way to measure that in the space here, maybe, because I don't know if you can see, no, you can't really see. Um, because internally there's only a central section where the bearing is that's B, 
bearing the weight and the wheels, I think a significant downforce in transit could potentially lead to it bending, which has the flow on effect of dinting this. With significantly more hammering, I was able to uh, get the original base closer back into shape such that the roller would actually have support. Uh, unfortunately, it did lead to dints on the two surfaces where I'm pointing to here. I still am really looking forward to creating a proper assembly video. Uh, I just need the replacement panels for the back section of the rotation platform. Um, I expect they will come in the next week or so, hopefully. I'm uh, just waiting to hear back from your. But um, what I will say is that these things can happen in any company. Um, it's unfortunate that it's happening after all of the issues that your have had to go through to get to here. Uh, the Yaw 3 does look to be, and reportedly from people who have received without damage, uh, a very good motion simulator. Um, and for those who've had a Yaw 2, it's uh, much quieter and much smoother, which is what they've promised. So that's really great. I'm looking forward to getting the replacement part so that I can make the video and experience that myself. See you soon.